Well, hello there. How is everyone? You amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. It's Sunday, baby, the day of rest. I'm not resting. Are you resting? You don't look like you need a rest. You look absolutely amazing. And we're going to get straight into the meat and potatoes. As look, we've seen over the last couple of days, Warren Slater has uploaded again. It seems that he's uploaded the same video that he uploaded before that was basically him questioning the Jay Slater narrative, what happened to his son. And I think it's very clear that Warren Slater just isn't buying what he's been told. And there are a lot of us who are not buying what we've been told. And behind every doubt, there's a reason for a doubt. And those reasons behind that doubt, we generally refer to them as red flags. If a case doesn't have red flags, then there doesn't seem to be a viable excuse to question it. If everything's clear, then you, you're happy to go along with what you've been told. You know, there, there may be a situation where there's one red flag, two even. But in the Jay Slater case, there are multiple, multiple red flags. Now, let's just say that this list isn't exhaustive, but... First of all, where where it happened, where the Jay Slater case happened, it happened around a rave event in Tenerife. Around raves, there's generally narcotics being sold, handed about, and we've been told multiple stories of that being a fact. So that's a red flag, number one, that we have a situation that would seemingly suggest Jay attends an event where there's likely narcotics activity, and he is seen and confirmed not by someone of his actual friend group, but of uh, a, an employee of this place stating that Jay Slate was in quite a bad way. So that's kind of a red flag, because when someone is seen to be in a bad way by somebody, and then later on they, they wind up deceased, that to me is a red flag. Red flag number two would be that Jay Slater, he, it was complained, or he had complained to his mum, that why had she found a place that was so far away from the NRG festival, when in fact it was just 10 minutes away. But then seemingly he would think that going off into the mountains wasn't that far. Now, that would lead me to believe that he was not exactly compass mentis when he left the NRG festival and would venture off into the mountains with seemingly two strangers who were deemed as associates of one of his friends. But anyway, that to me is a red flag when it turns out that potentially both of them, definitely one of them, is an ex-convict who has connections to narcotic trafficking. That's got to be a red flag, right? And then you have the journey itself. And like I say, this list isn't exhaustive. I'm just going to bring your attention to one specific element in this that I feel is telltale that there was potentially a story being made up to cover something else up and a big red flag for me. But Jay Slater, the story would suggest that he would venture off for this 11-hour trek. Some would say that it's because he wanted food. Another would say it's because he wanted scran. Some would say that he went off to find cigarettes. Food and scram, by the way, being the same thing. Just putting it into context. So what was he going for a walk for? Was it because he wanted cigarettes? Was it because he wanted food? Again, these are small little elements, but seemingly a conversation must have been had as to why he felt the need to walk when he was given a list. A a list. (laughs) Given an option of a lift. Was he given an option for a lift? Was he given that information? If you wait, I'll drop you back. It's a red flag to me. It's a red flag. And there are multiple red flags around this. The calls that would seemingly suggest in one that he's fine, in another he's at death's door and been bitten by a cactus. Why is the cactus element so important? Why was the cactus element even mentioned? Because what I would find, when you're under stress, say you're in a situation where a friend of yours has gone missing and you fear for the life of that person, there are certain things that take precedence and there's certain things that kind of aren't that important. But 
some of the things that were stated was as if they were incredibly, incredibly important. Like some of the things that were done seemed to have a place, like to not actually help Jay, but they would go to the police. They would request a, a helicopter, searches. They would raise a GoFundMe that would then get pulled and they'd raise another one. Seemingly, I've suggested before, maybe they felt it was a bit too early. That might look suspect. But again, some of the things that they did were indicative of trying to give the indication of doing loads when in fact they didn't really do a lot. But the cactus has always stuck out to me, bitten by a cactus. And I thought to myself, why would you even why would you even bring that up? What is the relevance of that? And also factoring that into what Jay was doing, why would Jay have actually gone anywhere near a cactus? Why in the vast openness of this terrain, why would he have got him in got himself into a situation where he went anywhere near it to get cut, to get cut on the leg by a cactus? And then I thought to myself, this to me is indicative of, again, covering your tracks, covering something that may be found during the search. And what I mean by that is if you're searching for Jay, while you're out there, what you have to understand is Jay wasn't himself. He wasn't himself. He was he was dehydrated. He was he was hungry. His food his phone was nearly dead. Um he was he was basically at death's door and he'd been cut as well. So the likelihood is as well you're on that search and you are looking for him, you could potentially find blood out there as well. But that's from where he got cut by a cactus. So again, I asked the question as to the the question between compass mentis and not compass mentis. And I know people love that word, that phrase, compass mentis. That just means that was Jay in the right mindset and a good mindset to make decisions and function adequately and appropriately for the situation that he was in? Now, some may say that if Jay was completely okay, completely sound of mind and he was able to make decisions he was able to walk he was able to to function as a as a proper normal human even though he was a teenager so there is going to be potentially an element of stupidity there but still it would be unfair to say that teenagers a 19 year old would be able to or not be able to assess risk and act accordingly and we're supposed to believe that he was walking in broad daylight completely fine, and walked off a cliff. Now, I've considered that perhaps this didn't happen when it happened. It would make more sense if Jay Slater was either scared, he was running. We've heard another red flag being that he was afraid, he was scared, and he didn't want to return back to the B&B, which led me to... think that well he's going away from the bnb then if he's scared and doesn't want to go back then that could factor into a decision to go in a direction where if something at the bnb is scaring him he doesn't want them to find him should they go looking for him so it may take him off the the path of least resistance and go and take a more risky risky way especially if that was in the dark as well you're not going to see the terrain and you could then fall into a cactus all of these elements of what we're being told about how jay fell and that he's got bitten by a cactus are indicative to me that he wasn't in broad daylight he wasn't in broad daylight so you've got two things here what this cactus situation should mean or could mean and even the fall itself now, I believe that this is either what we're hearing about, how he just shit Carter off of and fell down a ravine and got himself injured by a cactus are actually indicative of him being out there when he couldn't see where he was going. He couldn't see. Or it was indeed in daylight. He could see, but he was being forced into terrain that he wouldn't have normally gone down. Or he was already injured and in fact, the cactus element of it was to cover up the fact that there could have potentially been blood found during the hunt for Jay. I'm just spitballing. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs>